everyone. Hello, Azad and Heave and Rhonda and Annie. Thank you for your comment and thank you for waiting for me. So today's topic is Korean Pepero Day and I will be explaining about this day, like how to how to celebrate this day and who you should give it to this Pepero or everything. When is it? Everything very soon. So please keep watching it. So hello, hello everyone. So uh Natalie, 안녕하세요 선생님. 아 오랜만이다. Hello teacher, it's been a while. Hey, thank you for joining again. I hope to see you next week too. By the way, <laughs> please join it. And Madison Collins, get hi. Beyond the scene as usual. Hello, thank you for every week. And Miss Luna and Dionya, 안녕하세요. So welcome to weekly live Korean class, and this is Teacher Kajin. Hello, Kajin. All people are always ask me about my name. It's <laughs> Miss Kajin. Okay, so before we starting, tada! Oops, Teacher Chin Chin is hiding the URL. <laughs> so yes. We prepared free cheat sheet for you, which is Taran Hangul Hangul ebook. So, what can you do with this Hangul ebook? Well, you can learn the Korean alphabet, Korean alphabet, and then also you can practice the alphabet. So, please check it out. It's completely free, and this is very very important because Korean alphabet is easy to learn. You can find my video there, and you can learn. These alphabet, these alphabet in 20 minutes. So please check it out. Okay, so I think my students started joining. Jeffrey, 안녕하세요, and Snap Curve, 안녕, and Sok Dove Sing, <laughs> hello, and Kefina, and Emma. Okay, great. So I think we can start. Our Korean lesson, right? Sudan Jim, Sudan Jim. Okay, great. Yeah, let's start. So, Teacher Chin Chin, go back. By the way, Teacher Chin Chin loves <laughs> like, love, and share. So, if you want to learn Korean with me and Teacher Chin Chin, please don't forget. And Jimin, small fingers, and Dean Anthony. And Hector Salazar, <laughs> is it right? And Fighter, 안녕하세요. I think I mentioned everyone, Dean and Anthony, Thomas. Okay, so let's start. Ta -da. Yes, by end of this lesson, you will be able to learn all about Pepero Day, when to celebrate, what is Pepero, and what kind of Pepero we have, and then who you can give this Pepero to. Yay! So, today's topic is about Pepero Day. Pepero Day. What is Pepero Day? Basically, Pepero is this snack. And I also prepared. Can you see this? <laughs> Ta -da! Yeah, it's really thin and small. <laughs> I really like it. But please try it. Yum yum. <laughs> Well, I was not supposed to eat, but I couldn't help. <laughs> I really like this snack. Pepero, pepero. So as you can see, this is just breadstick covered with chocolate. And we have many different pepero, so you will find it out very soon. <laughs> Water time. Ah, Jimin Small Pocky? Yes, actually the name is Poki in Japan, but in Korea, it's Pepero, Pepero, and it's different com company. I don't know who started first, but I think Japanese one started first. <laughs> but Lotte, the Korean company, copied, I guess, copied or get the license or get inspired and then made this in Korea, and it became really popular. It's just a super popular snack. You can find it everywhere in Korea. In the supermarket, you can buy it online. So it's pepero. And snack curve, 
just uh, left a great comment. November 11th. Well, before that. Yes, Pepero is this and then day. Day is just the way we read day in Korean pronunciation. So, Pepero day. So, as a snack curve said, when is it? It's November 11th. November 11th. Um, in 2018, it will be this Sunday. So this Sunday, November, November 11. So can you guess why Pepero Day is November 11? It's simply because, ta <laughs> It's because of the shape. It looks like one, right? So it's 11, 11, November 11th. Very simple. November 11th. So, can you guys make a sentence using these two words? Really simple one. Like, Pepero Day. Pepero Day is November 11th. In Korean, it's Pepero Day Nun. We use the particle Nun. November 11th. 11월 11일입니다. 11월 11일입니다. Oh, Dio said this is hard to pronounce, right? This. Pe, pe. Oh, Dio step. Hi, I'm late. Actually, you're not. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Heave, why do you guys celebrate Pepero Day? Thank you for your awesome question. That's what I'm going to talk about today. So, why are we celebrating? So today, let's start with the origin of Pepero Day. Origin of Pepero Day is Pepero Day. Ui, ki, won. Ui is like of in Korean. And ki, won is the origin. So Pepero Day, ki, won. So let's talk about the origins of Pepero Day. Actually, I googled. I googled a lot. And there are many, many, many different origins. So I don't know which one is the real one but what i found is in 1980s the company who made this pepero this pepero noticed that around november 11th people buy this pepero a lot in busan area so it turned out that some uh, school girls in busan buy this pepero and exchange with their friends with a message saying let's lose some weight well they are kind of teasing each other and saying oh you're fat so you should lose weight it's kind of, they are uh, teasing in school so they buy this pepero and then give it to their their friends with the message let's or you should lose some weight which is 살좀 빼자, 살좀 빼자 in Korean. 살좀 빼자. 살, 살 means fat. 좀 빼자. 살좀 빼자, 살좀 빼자. It means let's lose some weight. Fat, 좀 means like some. Beja means let's lose. 살좀 빼자. Because this pepero is very thin, right? It's thin. So let's lose weight and become like pepero. <laughs> and also, pepero, 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 name of this snack, pepero, ooh, pepero. And then this pepe has another meaning. It's on some onomatopoeia words to describe skinny in Korea. So if you want to say, oh, she's skinny, then you can say malasso. But if you add this pepe, she's very, very skinny. Like, pepe malasso. If you say pepe malasso, that means she's very, very, very skinny. So pepe means very skinny. So that's why the high school girls started using this pepero. Pepero. 
around November 11th. And the company who made this pepero, which is Lotte, thought, wow, that's an awesome idea. So they took the idea and started promoting this pepero and pepero day on November 11th. That become very, very popular in Korea and it become one of the most important unofficial day in South Korea. How is it? <laughs> Does it make sense? So November 11th is this Pepero Day. Pepero Day. You can find this Pepero everywhere around this season on the convenience store or supermarket or even stationary shops on the street, subway, everything. <laughs> Every, <laughs> you will find everything about this Pepero. Mm, I want to eat it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lizard uh, Escort, hello, do you have a favorite flavor of pepero? I love this question, but I actually like this, the most basic one, the chocolate one, but it's very hard to choose because I'm going to explain some um, types of pepero, but there are lots of different pepero that this company making these days to promote this day. And some of them are really delicious. So I'll introduce very soon. And James, what an interesting history. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> so these days, people exchange this pepero not to ask them to lose weight, but just to show their appreciation, like, thank you. And also they use this pepero to confess their love. It's like another version of Valentine's Day in Korea. So if you like someone, you can give pepero and say, I like you. Beyond the scene, I want one. Me too, I want one now, but I have to speak. So <laughs> I, I, I'll eat it later. Ellen and Jit Kumar, Chaoming Reese and Abdul Hamiz, Jonghwan and Dek Refal. Wow, hello. You guys are just joined. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Ta -da! So how to enjoy Pepero Day? Well, this is very simple. You can buy or make Pepero, buy or make Pepero, and give it to someone you want to say thank you to. It's very simple. So who you can give it to? Well, your friend. Friend is 친구. 친구. Friend. You can give it to your friends, your classmate. So yeah, <laughs> I thought this is very typical and but good friends. 친구. 친구. Or your family. Your family. Your mom and father, your grandmother, grandfather, your family. I don't know if you noticed <laughs> what it is. But yes, this is from some soap opera. Yes. <laughs> family. Family is 가족. 가족. And Lena, what do they taste like? Well, can you see this? It's chocolate and breasty covered with chocolate. So I think you can guess the taste. <laughs> and oh! Zeus, my love, I'm eating right now. Really? I envy you. What taste are you eating now? And Gmobile, they taste like American Pokey, exactly. <laughs> and then you can also give it to your boyfriend. Well, I just Googled men, and then this was a picture I found. So, well, your boyfriend here. So, boyfriend is 남자친구. 남자친구. 남자친구 is very long, so in Korean slang, we just say 남친. 남친. Laura, hola. <laughs> and 남자친구, su, great. Su, sus, good job. And Aline, nice. <laughs> 남자친구. Again, also you can give it to girlfriend. Again, I just typed girl, and then she appeared. So girlfriend, 여자친구. 여자친구 Again, in Korean slang, you can also shorten it this way. 여친 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 여자친구 여친 
여친. And t a d a Well, of course, you can give it to your spouse. 배우자. 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 Or your colleagues. 직장 동료. 직장 동료. Your colleagues. 직장 동료. Uh, D. r e f said, 여자친구 없어요. I don't have girlfriend. Oh, cute. But next year, hopefully, you can give it to your girlfriend. Oh, Raisy. Uh, how do you say mother-in-law? So if you are female, if you are female, then you can say 시어머니. And yes, of course, you can give it to, uh, give p e p e r o to your mother-in-law, 시어머니. If you are a guy, then you can say 장모님. 장모. But you, 시어머니, but you call them just 어머니, 어머니, 어머님. So, if you are a guy, the mother-in-law is 장모, but when you call them, you call them 장모님. So, of course, you can give it to your mother-in-law, father-in-law. That's totally fine. You just want to say thank you. And then, yes, great. So yeah, you can give it to anyone, actually. You can give it to your boss, manager, or anybody is fine. So just show your appreciation to them. So guys, you're wondering about the types of pepero, right? Different types of pepero. Pepero e 종류. 종류 means types. or kind, 종류, 빼빼로의 종류, 빼빼로의 종류. 따란! Yes, the one I prepared today is this one. It's chocolate 빼빼로, chocolate 빼빼로. But we don't say uh, chocolate 빼빼로 because we feel it's slow. So we just say 초코 빼빼로, 초코 빼빼로. This is the basic one, and this is, I think, the most popular one. Choco pepero, choco pepero, and another popular one is strawberry pepero. Strawberry pepero is talgi pepero, talgi pepero, talgi is strawberry, and this. So we're t a l g i t a l g i and p e p p e r o is of course this. So it looks delicious too, right? Oh, Smooth said I like cookies and cream and ma matcha green tea. Actually, I like them too. Those are quite new ones, so I actually didn't prepare. But there are many different flavors. And Caesar choco p e p p e r o yes, t a l g i p e p p e r o with nice emojis. <laughs> Perfect. Another popular one is almond. Almond is almond. Almond. Almond is this one, and the pepero looks like this. It's very tasty too. Almond pepero. Almond pepero. And another popular one is this. Nude pepero. Nude pepero. Because you see, they are not wearing any chocolate clothes. <laughs> So the chocolate is inside, inside this breadstick. So it's not showing. So people just say this is nude, <laughs> nudie. <laughs> so it's the name is nude pepero, nude pepero. Well, there are really hundreds of uh, pepero flavors. I couldn't put everything in this slide, but as you guys said, I personally like green tea pepero, which is nocha. Pepero, Nocha Pepero, or Cafe Latte Pepero. Well, the original name is Double Deep Cafe Latte Pepero. So the length is shorter and it's wider. Shorter and wider, and it goes well with a cup of coffee. So Double Deep Latte Cafe. 
double dip cafe latte pepero is also very good and there is also yogurt pepero so it tastes like um, sweet white yogurt with some cookies and also there is skinny cacao pepero so it's thinner than this pepero skinny cacao pepero or there's cheese pepero or one funny thing I found is bulgogi pepero bulgogi well but they are not selling it anymore because I guess it's not as popular as these these are all sweet but bulgogi pepero was probably a bit salty and it's not like this snack sweet snack so people maybe didn't like it but yes there was bulgogi pepero before and um, tiramis, cheese pepero, white cookie pepero, I mean it's uncountable, uncountable. Okay, so next, ta -da! pepero day ideas. Pep I just read it in Korean pronunciation because idea, uh, idea, <laughs> is idea in Korean. Basically, we just use English word. So, Pepero day idea. Pepero day idea. Do you have uh, any ideas to celebrate this day? So I'm going to introduce some. Well, yes. <laughs> Money pepero. It's because, it's because some people don't like sweets, right? And also some people are health conscious, so they try not to eat so much sweet. And especially, we give this money pepero to parents. Parents, not to girlfriend, boyfriend, or friend. To parents. So how can you make money pepero? Well, actually, it's very easy. You just need to roll up cash like this. ta -da. <laughs> You know the Korean money? Yes, I printed out some Korean money. This is not real money. I printed out online. And this is $5, um, $1, $10. But the most common pepero is this one, $10 one. Well, if you are not rich, of course, you can use this and this. But the most common one is this $10 pepero. Um, Yes, $10 pepero. If you are very rich, you can, of course, use $50 pepero. You just need to roll up like this. Roll up. Roll up, roll up. Like this. Roll up. And then pack together and give it to your family. I know some people actually make this, this money pepero like bouquet. <laughs> bouquet or... They just pack it really pretty way. So usually parents love it. But please don't use tape because it's real money. So they need to use it. So yeah, use like a uh, band or paper to wrap it. So money pepero is, I guess, what everyone wants on pepero day. Oh, D. Natalie said, 고추장 pepero 있어요? 고추장 is, uh, Korean spicy sauce <laughs> and unfortunately I haven't found it but ta -da! on pepero day you can actually make your own pepero this is very popular too so why not <laughs> why don't you try making gochujang pepero yourself it's I think it's a good idea but yeah I cannot imagine the taste though so Homemade pepero is what um, girls in relationship do a lot in Korea. So if you have any boyfriend, you can do it. And of course, if you are guys and if you have girlfriend, try this homemade pepero. That I'm sure people will love it. Your girlfriend will love it. Homemade pepero is 수제 pepero. 수제 pepero. So it's like DIY pepero. 수제 pepero. 수제 actually means handmade, handmade, but homemade pepero is more natural English, I think. Okay, so, oh, 
Uh, Tyler just said, I want a mint chocolate one. Ah, that's a good one. And Ray G Brief said, what's the ingredient? That's a good question. And actually, lots of Korean people are not good at baking. So on the convenience store or supermarket, you can find DIY Pepero kit. So they already have breadstick and they have some some candy to put on uh, your own pepero or lots of decorations so you can buy them and if you're on your own country you can google <laughs> you can google uh, suje pepero then it will show lots of youtube videos and blog post is it enough answer <laughs> uh, very my boyfriend let me on how day now I can make it. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, make suje pepero and surprise him. ta -da! Another way to celebrate is karetto. Karetto pepero. Karetto. Karetto is Korean rice cake. And you see, this is thin and long, just like pepero. Well, actually, it's like this size. But yes, it looks like November 11 and 11, right? So it's Karetok Day. Pepero Day is also Karetok Day. So you can cook some Korean food using this Karetok. Using this Karetok. What can you cook? Do you know popular Korean dishes like Tokku, uh, like rice cake soup, or Tokbukki, uh, stir fried rice cake, or Tokkochi? Tokkochi is like stick and you just put the karetok here. <laughs> so karetok. So yes, you can cook Korean dish using this karetok. This is karetok day too. Okay, so I hope you guys learned how to celebrate this day. <laughs> so happy pepper day guys. Happy Pepero Day! Happy Pepero Day! We don't have any greeting for Pepero Day, unfortunately. So we just use these English words or we just say thank you directly. Just thank you for everything. Like, 감사합니다. So you can write small letters. In the Pepero box, actually there's a small space for you to write a message. So you can write some message to them. So, Pepero Day. Happy Pepero Day. So, I hope you enjoy your Pepero Day, which is November 11th, and it's this Sunday. Pepero Day. ta -da! Yes, our lesson is almost over, but ta -da! just one thing. Please don't forget to download this cheat sheet. It's on the description. ta -da! <laughs> So, yes, I'm always emphasizing the importance of the Korean alphabet Hangul because it's easy to learn and it's the basic. If you don't know the Hangul, basically it's hard to communicate with Korean people because Korean people don't read romanization. So please check out this Hangul cheat sheet. So how was today's lesson and what is your favorite pepero? My favorite pepero is this basic one, the chocolate one. And then Blue Sarang said, see you tomorrow at the same time, at the same place. But today, <laughs> we only do this lesson on Thursday, not another day. So see you next week at the same time. Same time on same place. Yes. So it will be Korean conjugation. How to make past tense. Yes, today we cover the Korean culture. So next week, we will cover the Korean grammar. So can you make a past tense in Korean? Do you know how to conjugate the past tense in the Korean language? Don't worry, it will be very, very easy with me. So please join this class again. And Reggie Brief said, is it cheap? Yes, it's actually a great question. Pepero is very cheap in Korea and one box 
one box is just one or two dollars. One, two dollars. And about the DIY Pepero kit, it really depends on the place and depends on the kit. Some are like ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars. Oh, and Prashana Tendeka, happy di Diwali. You're from India. Yay, happy Diwali. <laughs> and Caesar, interesting. Thank you. And D. Natalie, oh, you make tteokbokki very well. Good. <laughs> and Janna, I'm new and I enjoy this. Oh, thank you. I'm really happy to hear that. So I hope you can join next week's class, which is tada, November 15th, 1 p.m. in Korean time. 1 p.m. in Korean time. So it will be different in your country. So please check out the class. And it will be Thursday as usual. So Kim Young Poki Challenge. Well, let's name it Pepero Challenge now. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Mikael and Heidi and Aracel and Kuyan, Kim Young, Lizette, and Beyond the Sim, Blue Sarang, Razy, only Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, Justin Bieber is the best. Okay. <laughs> uh, Janna, Deli, Natalie, Caesar, Prasha. Geo, good of destruction. Did I mention everyone? Okay, snack curve. Thank you for many comments today. And see you next week. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>